Scott Brown here. In today's exciting video, we are going to review this, the Makita DHS680. It's a really good skill saw. So I've been using this sucker for about a year now and I was a little bit hesitant to buy another 18 volt skill saw. I had one like this about five or six years ago before they started making brushless ones and back when the Makita batteries were still at about three amps and I found that it wasn't quite strong enough for day-to-day -day use. I couldn't rip things, I couldn't cut everything that I wanted to cut. So we kept going back to the tried and true corded versions of skill saws. We sort of sacrificed the mobility for the reliability. I bought this skill saw knowing that batteries had improved, that the brushless motors were coming in, which helps keep the entire skill saw compact. Look how slim it is! I've also got a Makita 9 and a quarter, and we use that from time to time when we're cutting really wet timber or really thick gauge or just stuff that's, that needs all the power that you can get. And that 9 and a quarter is good for that. But it's a beast. It's huge. It's a massive skill saw. It's like, it's really heavy. So it's not the kind of thing you're going to pull out every single day just to cut little pieces of wood. And that's where the mobility of this one is so good. Another typical size skill saw is the eight and a quarter. That's the kind of skill saw that I've used the most since I started building back in 2004. It's a long ass time. We've got one of those still and it's corded. And because it's corded, we don't use that. We keep using this. The best tool is the tool that you actually use. It has the great rafter hook that, so if you're up on a roof cutting purlins or something, you can hang this on your roof truss. It's got a nice little spike in there so it can dig into the timber and not slip off. Like most Makita battery tools, it has a little torch when you fire it up. That doesn't really come in handy, to be honest. It also comes with a guide that slips through there like most skill saws do. You can change all the dials and do angled cuts. It does everything that you want a skill saw to do. It's not 100%, you know, it's like got quite a small blade on it. You can't cut posts as easily. It's got sort of flimsy dials. It doesn't feel as sturdy as some of the other gear that's out there. The frame is quite plasticky. It rattles. But despite all those things, I love it. Makita's not telling me to say this. No one's paying me. I bought the skill saw. And like I said in the other Makita video, this is just the tool company that I started with. And I'm continuing because it's been working for me. And when this is your career, you use what works. The Makita DHS680. It works! So, should you buy this? Yeah! If you're in the Makita club already and you've got the batteries, this is a good buy. It's probably my favourite Makita tool. That's a good, that's a five star review right there, surely. So, in other news, the channel is moving. It wasn't that long ago where I was talking about having 28 subscribers and begging you guys to get to 30. And now we're at 70, so... Progress! So thanks to all of you guys for subscribing and, um... See you in tomorrow's episode.